Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 150. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Vitrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Saptanga theory which deals with the seven limbs or Sapta Anga of ancient political structure was propounded by Kautilya. Saptanga theory of state was given by Kautilya in Arthashastra. The seven limbs are king, amatya or bureaucrats, Janapada or territory, Durga or fort, Kosa or treasure, Danda or coercive authority, and Mitra or ally. The concept of Lokpala Lokayukta office in India is based upon which of the following? The correct answer is Ombudsman in Scandinavia. An indigenous Swedish, Norwegian, and Danish term, Ombudsman, is etymologically rooted in Old Norse, essentially meaning representative. Max Weber, an influential German sociologist, is related to which of the following administrative concept? The correct answer is bureaucracy. According to bureaucratic theory of Marx Weber, bureaucracy is the basis of the systematic formation of any organization and is designed to ensure efficiency and economic effectiveness. It is an ideal model for management and its administration to bring an organization's power structure into focus. Citizens of India lost their right to property from the fundamental rights through which of the following amendments? The correct answer is 44th. The 44th amendment seeks to protect the people of India from such injustices as a uh, zamindari system etc. which is why mostly uh, right to property was <coughs> removed. Which among the following is located in Belhonur in Chikmagalur district of Karnataka? The correct answer is Central Coffee Research Institute. The Central Coffee Research Institute was established during 1925 and uh, it is the institute that is involved in intensive research in disciplines of plant breeding, agronomy, agricultural chemistry and soil science, plant physiology, pathology, entomology and post-harvest technology. Enteric fermentation is fermentation that takes place in the digestive system of ruminant animals. It is one of the reasons for increased dash emissions. The correct answer is methane. So, ruminant animals are animals like cows. Uh, usually, they have more than one stomach. Uh, enteric fermentation is the process by which carbohydrates are broken down by microorganisms in their digestive tract into simple molecules for absorption into the bloodstreams. It is also one of the factors in increased methane emission. Which among the following cells is capable of developing in any of the type of cells? So this cell can change into any different cell, any different type of cell in its life cycle. The correct answer is stem cells. A stem cell is a cell with the unique ability to develop into specialized cell types in the body. In the future, they may be used to replace cells and tissues that have been damaged or lost due to disease. Which of the following vitamin is essential for the formation of collagen? The correct answer is vitamin C, which is also known as ascorbic acid or L-ascorbic acid. And it is a vitamin found in various foods and sold as dietary supplements. It is used to prevent and treat scurvy. Tench National Park, which was included under the umbrella of Project Tiger, is located in Madhya Pradesh. It is located in Sioni and Chindwara districts of Madhya Pradesh. It derives its name from Pench River that flows through the park from north to south, dividing the park into almost equal western and eastern halves. The well-forested areas are Sioni and Chindwara districts, respectively. The Grand Trunk Road or GT Road is one of the South Asia's oldest and longest major roads. It traverses through where? If you see the map, you can see it traverses through Bangladesh, India and Pakistan. It, is, uh, it was founded around 3rd century BCE by the Mauryan Empire of Ancient India. For more than two millennia, it has linked the Indian subcontinent with Central Asia. It runs from Chittagong, Bangladesh, west to Howrah, West Bengal in India, then across northern India through Delhi, passing from Amritsar. From there, the road continues towards Lahore and Peshawar in Pakistan, finally terminating in Kabul, Afghanistan. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.